What's up everyone? Karu here from my Tennis HQ. Hope you guys are doing great. And today we have a really fun video. I was able to get my hands in every single MP head racket. Extreme MP, Radical MP, Prestige MP, Speed MP, Gravity MP, and Instinct MP. It's a lot of rackets. Um, I was able to play with them for a couple days each. I've had them for a, uh, for a few weeks now. And you know, I was kind of writing down my thoughts on each one, and then I finally went out to shoot. Uh, it was really fun to you know play with them back to back to back and really see the differences um, like right there on that session. So I, I had a good time with that, and I think I have some great insight on how each racket can benefit a certain kind of player. So that's what I'm going to try to do in this video. I'm going to try to guide you as a consumer to the right racket for you, and I'm not planning on ranking best racket to worst racket because again picking a racket is a very personal feeling almost like I go I might find a certain racket to be the best one in the world and you might hate it but again gonna try to guide you in the right direction I do have a favorite in this lineup I also have one that I like the least I'm, I think it's gonna be a pretty obvious which one is it uh, but I think this is a pretty fun review I try to keep as concise as I could so we, we wouldn't spend 40 minutes talking about this racket. I will be working on a full review for each individual racket, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. And let's not waste any more time, let's jump right to it. All right, so let's start with the unreleased 2020 version of the Radical MP. If you watch my latest re review, you know that I'm a huge fan of this racket. On ground strokes, the racket feels incredibly solid. Even, even though it's not the heaviest frame, it provides great plow through, so you can really drive the ball. One of my favorite aspects about th this racket is that it feels crisp at contact, providing great feedback, but it doesn't really sacrifice feel and comfort. It's, it's a good racket for someone who likes to, to, to feel the ball on their strings, but you don't want something that is too stiff and hard on your arm. One thing that I will say about this racket is it is not really for someone who's looking to add an excessive amount of topspin to their shots. This frame is better suited for all around players who like to drive the ball, go to the net, uh, be crafty, and use feel and touch. On offense, I have confidence that I can swing freely without worrying about missing long. On defense, it also feels solid, allowing me to return tough shots deep on the court. On serves, the radical MP is solid. It won't really blow your mind by any means, but it feels precise and it does the job well. If you already have a good service motion, this is a good option for you. Everywhere else on the court, the Radical MP is amazing. It is awesome for volleying and anything that requires feel, such as slices and drop shots. And if you like to crash the net, this is gonna, going to be a, an amazing racket for you. Overall, the 2020 Radical MP is a great option for players who like traditional rackets that will perform well all around the court. It is also a great frame for players who like to customize their, their rackets to their own game. So if you like picking up a racket, customizing, adding weight, this is a great frame for you. Okay, so moving to the 2020 Extreme MP. This is a surprisingly pleasant racket. I'm not a huge fan of its shape, but once you forget about that, this racket is a good option for players looking for something comfortable and easy to play with. On ground strokes, the racket provides a great amount of power and top spin without feeling like you're giving up too much control. The racket is a little bit muted at contact, so be aware of that. If you like a lot of feel when you hit the shots, this isn't necessarily for you. On offense, it is really easy to generate power, so if you're looking to, for a racket to help you with that, I recommend you try this one. On defense, I struggled a little bit because I'm more of a driver of the ball, but if you like defending with a lot of top spin, top spin and sending the ball high and up and deep on the court, I think this is a great option for you. On serves, the Extreme MP performed really well, especially for kicks. It could use a little bit of weight for first serve, so you get a little more plow through, but I think most players will enjoy this frame for serving. When it comes to feel, the Extreme MP isn't necessarily at the top of the rankings, but I don't think it, it is ne it's made for too much feel. It performs well still on volleys and slices, but I think it is a little bit of a trade-off that you don't get as much feel, but you can be offensive and get a lot of power and top swing with this racket. Overall, I think the Extreme MP is a great bracket for beginner intermediate players looking to add some top spin and power to their shots. It is comfortable, forgiving, and the big head size will make, help you make good contact with the ball. Okay, so moving to the 2020 Prestige MP. 
this is definitely the least air quotes here mp racket of this lineup it is the heaviest of the bunch and it has the tightest string pattern as well at 1820 and because of that it, i kind of felt at home with it it's my type of racket i liked it it provides a lot of control and a good amount of feel and feedback at contact so on ground strokes you get the classic prestige feel it provides you a lot of control but rewards full aggressive swings you can really trust that you're going to keep the ball on the court the ball comes off the racket with the lowest launch angle so at first i was kind of missing some shots at the net but as i adjusted and started hitting just a little more low to high i was able to really get a good feel for this racket on offensive shots the prestige mp allows you to swing out and drive the ball deep on the court with no fear that you're going to over hit or miss long on defense even though it's not necessarily the most forgiving racket it does allow you to swing out and trust that you're going to keep the ball on the court even in tough situations for serving this is definitely my favorite racket of the bunch because it's a, a little bit heavier obviously it's much easier to get the plow through and some power but at the same time you get that prestige precision on serving you can really pick your spots and and hit them so if you already have like a decent service motion and you you know you're a little more advanced in your tennis journey i think the prestige is a fantastic racket for serving to no surprise this racket performed unbelievable in every other area on the court especially areas that require a lot of feel it's great for firm stabbing volleys and awesome for knifing slices at the end players who gravitate towards the prestige lineup know what they're getting into it is perfect for players who take aggressive swings come to the net and put pressure on their opponents So moving to the 2020 speed mp if you follow the channel for a while you know i've been playing with the with heads speed lineup for a few years now and i really love it i think speeds are the quintessential modern tennis racket and this mp does not disappoint on ground strokes it provides the perfect balance between lots of comfort and feel the big head size gives you a lot of surface area to hit the ball in a big sweet spot but the great thing is that it does so without feeling too muted, like you don't know where you're hitting the ball. You still get, get a lot of good feedback on the strings. On offensive shots, the speed feels easy to swing through the air, which allows you to generate more rack ahead speed and translates into powerful yet controllable shots. The MP version with the wider string pattern makes it easy to generate top spin as well. On defense, this frame absolutely shines. It is a, it's great for counter-attacking deep and hard shots with great depth and precision. So if you're someone who likes to counter-attack and be, go from defense to offense, this is a fantastic option. So unfortunately, at the end of this hitting session, I broke the string and I was unable to film myself serving and playing points with the Speed MP. But I did play some points earlier this week with it, served and everything. And I can tell you this is a great option for serving. It probably needs a little bit of weight so you get a little more plow through. But it feels precise, it feels solid. And I think it's a great all-around option for anyone who's looking for a good serving racket, but a good racket for pretty much everything else on top of that the speed just feels great everywhere else on the court it is solid for volleys and anything that requires feel great for slicing so you're not really sacrificing anything with this racket It's a really complete frame overall i personally believe that the speed lineup is the best ahead offers at the moment i think you don't sacrifice anything with speed rackets you get a little bit of everything and i think it is the most complete frame they offer so you can serve well with it you can hit good ground strokes you can use some feel um, you, you, it, there's nothing really you're sacrificing when you choose a speed racket feeling that they're made to help players with their strengths and weaknesses so this MP version is a solid option for a wide variety of players And the last racket in this review is the Gravity MP. I always have a little bit of a hard time talking about the Gravity lineup. I just don't really get where it falls within Head's lineup of rackets. I'm not a huge fan of their shape, and I think they're a little bit too muted. I don't feel the ball as well on the strings. 
That being said, I would be lying if I said I don't play well with it. For whatever reason, the ball comes off nicely off the racket when I hit with it. I'd never really need to adjust anything when I play with it. So, it, I can't say it's a bad racket. On ground strokes, it shines when you take full swings instead of trying to guide the ball to the other side of the court. While the frame feels a little bit too muted, like I said, it is fairly forgiving and easy to play with. On offense, it rewards players who are taking a good crack at it. On defense, it's also a good option because it feels solid and forgiving and the bigger head size makes it easier to make good contact on the strings. This is a good racket for serving. You get a good amount of power and, and precision, so you don't have to worry about pulling a Zverev next time you're on the court if you choose to play with the Gravity MP. And lastly, I personally believe that this racket is at its absolute best for shots that require feel. It is great for volleying and slicing. You get a lot of confidence from the racket. You can really stab your, your volleys, put them away, and really knife your slices and get be aggressive with it. So if you are the kind of player who likes playing with a lot of finesse and touch, I recommend you picking up one of these rackets, try it out. I know Head has the prestige lineup that kind of does that job as well, but I think it wouldn't hurt comparing both of them. I think players, again, who like, like to play with finesse coming in, hitting volleys, um, playing a little bit more old school will really enjoy this rack. All right, so was it clear which one was my least favorite? Regardless, uh, I think this MP lineup from Head is really, really good. Uh, my favorite is probably the speed. I'm kind of like going back and forth between the speed and the, and the radical. But I just like the speed. I think for more people, uh, it's just a better racket. You, you don't really sacrifice anything when you choose to play with the speed. Um, it's great for ground strokes. It, it's good for serving. It has enough feel. Um, it has a good, sweet, a big sweet spot and a lot of forgiveness. But it's not. It doesn't feel like too muted as well. So overall, it is just a great racket. Um, I really love this new Radical. I, I want to try the Pro as soon as it comes out because I think that's going to be a really good racket. Uh, but overall, uh, as you guys saw it, um, I was trying to guide you guys towards a good decision when buying this racket. So let's kind of recap it. So the Radical is a great racket for someone who is an all-around player. I think probably a person who is a little bit more advanced because the head size at 98 isn't the biggest. Uh, so someone who's an intermediate to advanced, uh, likes to play everywhere on the court, isn't necessarily looking to add too much power to their, their game, is just trying to find a nice comfortable racket that plays very well all around the court. So that's what I think about the Radical, so it, for you know a little more advanced players, uh, I think it's a great option. The Extreme is the more player friendly, I think beginners and you know intermediate players will like to to have the extreme in their hands because it is a big head size. It kind of gives you that confidence that you're going to make contact with the strings. At the end of the day, we forget that, you know, us advanced players uh, forget how hard it is to, at first to make contact with the strings. So I think the extreme is a great racket for that. It's going to give you a little power if you just don't have uh, enough of that fast twitch and racket head speed yet to, to generate power. So great racket for beginners. Intermediate, intermediate players, but honestly, not bad for advanced players. I just like the Pro a little more than the MP. I think if you're gonna pick the Extreme as an advanced player, you might as well go with the Pro, but still not a bad racket for someone who just wants something easy to play with. All right, the Prestige, it's, it's a Prestige. You know, everyone who plays with this lineup knows, knows what they're getting into. I played with it uh, a little bit during my pro career. I really liked it, but it didn't really help me in certain ways. So, you know, the speed was a little bit better option for me. But overall, you just see a lot. You almost can tell the kind of player that is like a prestige player is like, yeah, you just you just work with the prestige. Nice full stroke, someone who likes to be aggressive, um, someone who likes control. Um, great for slicing, great for feel, great for volleying. Um, so, you know, players who like to play a little more old school can benefit from it. Players who like actually not being too aggressive, to be honest, but like, like being passive, but like knowing that their racket is going to give them a lot of control, that's also a great option. There's a lot of grinders that play with the Prestige as well. Um, but it's just, 
for people who are seeking that prestige, old school, new school feel, obviously the prestige isn't as old school anymore, but you know, I, I really can complain a little heavier, a little more of a player racket. And I think if you're looking for that, that sort of feel on your racket, you can't really go wrong with the prestige. The speed is just my favorite because I think the speed it's like a hybrid of all head rackets into one great frame. It has a little bit bigger head size, but it doesn't feel weird. It still is proportioned well that you just pick it up. It seems normal. Uh, it gives you a lot of a big sweet spot. It gives you a lot of room to hit the ball on the strings, but at the same time, um, it it is a player's racket. You feel the ball on the strings and not too, it's not too muted. Um, and you can really swing out that little, it's the the beam is a little bit wider but not too thick so it swings through the air really well uh, and it just kind of helps you everywhere everywhere on the court if you like being on defense um, you have again you have a lot of room to hit the ball on the run uh, it will help you send the ball back deep on the court if you like just being on offense that also works um, you know good for serving great feel at the net great feel for slices so i think it's just an overall complete package i think uh, it, it's very rare that someone wouldn't like uh, the speed lineup, and I think they've made the speed lineup much better in the last couple couple of years. Uh, so highly recommend trying that one. Um, obviously, if you don't like it, again, there's a lot of MP <laughs> rackets out there, but uh, I really like the speed, and I think you should definitely get out and try try one. The instinct is just okay. I think it's a great like club level racket, but. I mean, with that big of a lineup the head has, I just don't think you should even bother with it. I think there's the other rackets are much better. Um, so I think just skip that one and go try the other ones out. And lastly, the gravity. Like I said earlier in the video, I always have a hard time talking about it because I don't like a lot of, about this racket, but I also don't play bad when I play with it. It's like, it's this weird thing. I pick it up, I'm just like, there's something odd about it. I don't like the shape and and all those things, but I I end up playing well with it. Um, I used to actually have a couple of the pros and I, I did enjoy you know hitting with it. I didn't like really playing with it, but hitting with it felt comfortable. And it's a comfortable racket. It kind of feels similar to the Prestige in certain ways, not as like stiff, but like you can, for us, the kind of player who likes slicing a lot and coming in and playing with a lot of touch and feel, is it is a good option. And I think if you're that kind of player, uh, and maybe you're tired of a prestige, maybe you're looking for something a little more comfortable, I think the gravity is a, it's a good racket. So again, not my personal favorite. Um, just a lot of things that I don't like about it that kind of push me away from it, but it is a pretty good racket actually. So. Um, if you're looking for something to add to your touch, if you're one of those people who have like great hands and stuff, I think this is a good good option. So go out and try it. So this is it for this video. I know it was a lot to unpack, a lot of rackets on the same video, but uh, I always enjoy comparing rackets back to back just to quickly see their differences and their similarities. Uh, I think you know I, I'm good enough to pick pick that up uh, really quickly, and I'm trying to give you the, the sort of consumer advice to point you in the right direction. I think a lot of a lot of times rackets like they will look great and look sexy. I just want to buy that racket, but they might not be the right right racket for for your game. Uh, if you have any questions about any of the rackets that I haven't reviewed yet, I already have a head of radical review, so you make sure to check that out. But any other any of the other rackets that I will be reviewing uh, in the near future, if you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments. I'll make sure to address that on the full review for each one. Uh, if you already play with one of these rackets, let us know in the comments as well why you chose that one, what do you like about it, what do you don't like about it. Uh, we really want to hear that. And visit MyTennisHQ.com. We have a lot of new articles out there. I think you guys uh, are going to, going to enjoy that. Follow us on social media, uh, at MyTennisHQ on Instagram, at MyTennisHQ underscore on Twitter. And sign up for our email list. We've been getting a lot of people signing up for it. Uh, we're pumping out like some pretty cool content on our email list every Sunday or Monday. Uh, so make sure you check that out and I'll see you guys on the next one.